Okay, in this section, uh, we are going to introduce the bullet plot of several very general transfer functions. So the first uh, example would be, what if we have a left haplane pole? So this is indeed a very general case we might encounter in circuit analysis. For example, we can use a RC network as the very typical example. Suppose we have a circuit. So here's the input source, V1S, and we have a, a resistor capacitor network. So here is R. Here is the C capacitance. And uh, we suppose the output signal is the voltage across the capacitor. So here is V2. For this very general special case, or general case in circuit theory, we can easily calculate the S domain transfer function for this circuit. So the transfer function GS equals to the ratio of the output voltage and the input voltage. So you will see that this is a very simple voltage divider divided by this impedance network. Right? So this ratio would be e equal to the impedance of the capacitor, which is 1 over SC, divided by the sum of impedance of R in series with C, so which is R plus 1 over SC. And uh, we can go further step to simplify. So GS equals to 1 over 1 plus SRC. So for the RC, we have a very special name for the RC network. We call this as the time constant, right? So I, RC is the time constant. Then we can have omega 0 equals to 1 over time constant equals to 1 over RC. Then we replace the RC by um, 1 over omega 0. So this would be equals to 1 over 1 plus S over omega 0. So for this transfer function, we can see that we ob observe the denominator, right? So there is a scenario when the de denominator equals to 0. If we equal the denominator to 0, we can calculate the root would be S equals to minus omega 0. So we call this as the pole. And because this S exists on the left half plane, so we call this as left half plane pole. And uh, next, we can plot the body plot for this uh, transfer function. Remember, we replaced S by J omega, right? We calculate the magnitude and the phase and plot accordingly. For here, I, we can use the, the general rules we just introduced before. So to plot is body plot. First, let's look at the magnitude plot. So here is the log scale, log omega, or region. And in body plot, we use 20 log. So we will see that there is a pole here. So its magnitude plot will begin to drop at omega 0. 
which is the pole frequency. And uh, uh, beyond this point, we would have minus 20 dB per decade slope. For example, here is like 10 omega 0. And uh, at 10 omega 0, we would experience 20 dB, minus 20 dB. Suppose we have, in the very beginning, there, here is 0 dB. Then we would have a minus 20 dB uh, at 10 omega 0. 0 dB corresponds to unit, right, in regular, uh, re regular scale, OK? And uh, meanwhile, we can also plot the phase plot. So for phase plot, we map omega 0 to here and the 10 omega 0 to here. And also we mark the 0 0.1 omega 0. So here is the phase angle of G. So be before 0 0.1 omega 0, there is no phase change. So this is 0 degree. And the starting from 0 0.1 omega 0, we would begin to, to, to decrease. And at this frequency, we would experience minus 45 degree phase change. At this 10 omega 0, we would experience minus 90 degree. So that is a very general case for left half plane pole. Okay. Next, let's look at another general case, which is left half plane zero. Second. For left half plane zero, we would have a generalized uh, transfer function like this, gs equals to one plus s divided by omega zero. For this transfer function, if you equal the numerator to zero, you would find out it's zero, right? So this transfer function would have a zero at s equals to minus omega 0. Again, this point exists on the left half plane. That is why we call this as left half plane 0. And we can plot the body plot for this transfer function. Right. Top one is the magnitude plot. Here is the log frequency. And this one is the phase plot. So for this general case of left half plane zero, we would have, suppose the, here is the zero frequency, omega zero. And then here is the 0 0.1 omega zero. Here is the 10 omega zero. For the magnitude plot, initially, It is zero dB, right? Zero dB, which corresponds to unity gain, right? If uh, the frequency equals to zero, then the GS equals to one, which corresponds to zero dB in decibel. And after omega zero, the zero would uh, introduce a plus 20 dB 
per decade change. So the slope here is 20 dB per decade. Okay. And regarding the phase plot, so before 0 0.1 omega 0, the phase change is 0 degree. Then it begins to change. So change is 45 degree at omega 0 and 90 degree at 10 omega 0 and remain flat beyond 10 omega 0. That is the body plot for left hand plane 0. Okay. So next, let's look at some special cases. Those are 1 and 2 are general cases. We might also encounter some special cases. For example, we might have pole at origin. So the pole at origin corresponds to a transfer function like this, gs equals to 1 over s over omega 0. If you equal the denominator to 0, you will see that s equals to 0. This means that the system has a pole at origin. And we can also plot its body plot correspondingly. Here is the magnitude plot, 20 log. Frequency axis in uh, log scale. Here is the phase angle. So the pole is in the origin, means that initially there is a minus 20 dB per decade. So we, we would have a uh, overall plot like this, minus 20 dB per decade. And uh, at the omega 0, if s equals to omega 0, the gs equals to unity. So the dispel scale, this would correspond to 0 dB. That is the magnetic plot. And for phase plot, since the pole is in origin, right? So the pole would uh, introduce a minus 90 degree overall, right? But the pole is in origin, so means that you always have a minus 90 degree. Phase plot for the, this special case. And uh, next, we might also have, similar to the pole at origin, we might also have pole at the zero at origin. So what if we have zero? At origin. So its transfer function would be like this, gs equals to s over omega zero. See? equal the numerator to zero, then we would have s equals to zero, which means that the zero exists in the or origin. So we can also plot its body plot. Magnitude plot, 20 log. Phase plot, log skew. So similar to the pole at origin, the zero would incur a plus 20 dB per decade slope.
and at this omega zero frequency, if s equals to omega zero, this will be equal to unity. So this corresponds to zero dB. And for phase plot, we would experience a positive 90 degree phase change starting from the origin. Okay, so that is the, this special case. Next, we would erase the, the blackboard to share with, with you an, another uh, set of special cases. Okay, we have erased the blackboard. Now let's continue to analyze the special cases. So the case five, we are going to look at the right haplane zero. So the right haplane zero would have a transfer function like this, like gs equals to one minus s over omega zero. If you calculate the equation with the numerator equals to zero, you will solve it's zero. So zero will exist at s equals to omega zero. This omega zero exists in the right half plane. That is why we call it the right half plane zero. And we can also plot its body plot accordingly. So here is the log omega. And here is the 20 log. And this is the phase plot. Phase angle G. For the magnitude plot, we mark the omega zero at here. So before omega zero, the magnitude would remain flat. Suppose S is very, very small, then GS will be very close to unity, so this would be flat. Roughly equal to zero dB. And when after this omega zero, this is a right half plane zero, so this will incur a 20 dB per decade slope of change. For example, if we denote here as 10 omega zero, then at this frequency would correspond to a 20 dB. And then we look at the phase plot. Similarly, when the S is very small, so GS would have its imaginary part very close to one, right, to a real number. So the beginning level of the phase will be zero degree. And uh, starting from 0 0.1, zero frequency, the phase plot begins to, ch to change, actually to drop, right? And uh, at omega zero, the change is minus 40 degree. At 10 omega zero, this is minus 90 degree. Beyond the 10 omega zero, this is flat, meaning that this right half plane zero uh, introduced a total net change of minus 90 degree to the phase plot. Okay. Mm, next, let's look at a special case, we call it the inverted pole.
So for the inverted pole, we have its typical transfer function like this, gs equals to 1 over 1 plus omega 0 over omega, omega s. The reason why we call this as inverted pole is that it, you can compare this with we have just covered the non-inverted pole, right? regular pole. So regular pole has a transfer function of uh, in this format. See, this is the regular pole. For inverted pole, this part is inverted upside down. That, that is where the name origins from. And if you look at this inverted pole, you will see that this is kind of the uh, impact or effect of two components. One is a zero at origin. Another one is a left half plane pole, right? So the bully plot would also be the uh, adding effect of those two components. So we can plot its body plot accordingly. First, look at the uh, magnitude plot. In log scale. And uh, here is the phase plot. We mark those three critical uh, frequencies. One is omega zero. One is ten omega zero. One is zero point one omega zero. For the magnitude plot, actually, if you, we first consider what if frequency is very very high. S equals to j omega. If omega is very very high this fraction will be approach to zero, right? Then this gs will be roughly equals to unity, which is zero dB. So here is zero dB. And uh, before omega zero, it's a combination of a zero at origin, right? And uh, left half plane pole, right? Before omega zero, the zero at origin will be the dominant force. So we would have a magnitude plot, which is similar to the zero at origin. Like minus 20 dB per decade. And uh, here is minus 20 dB. Next, let's look at the phase plot. Similar, before 0 0.1 omega 0, the 0 at origin dominate. So which means a 90 degree net change of phase. And this at omega 0 would encounter a minus 90 degree phase change, right? So, so then we would have such a shape. So here is 45 degree, zero degree. And beyond the 10 omega zero is equals to flat zero. Uh, if you want to validate whether this is true or accurate, you can use your mathematical tool like MATLAB to plot it. You will have a better insight of this uh, technique. Okay. So the next special case, case seven, is kind of inverted zero. So for inverted zero, we would have such a format of transfer function, one plus omega zero over s. Again, we can compare this with the uh, classic conventional zero, right? For, for a conventional zero, we would have gs equals to one plus s over omega zero. Again, you compare, right, this item. 
So here is like the inversion of the conventional zero. That is why we call this as the inverted zero. But if you look at this transfer function, it's indeed a combination of two components. One is the S, which corresponds to a pole at origin. And the other is minus omega zero, which corresponds to a left half plane zero. So meaning that GS body plot is the combining force of those two components. So we can plot uh, its body plot accordingly. Log omega, 20 log. Phase plot, log omega. Here is phase. Again, we mark omega zero. So, it's, it, since it's a combination of origin, pole, and uh, a left half plane zero, so we can consider them separately. If the frequency is very, very high, right, very, very high, j omega equals to infinity, then this will be equals to unity. So in magnitude plot, this will be roughly equals to 0 dB. But at low frequency, if s equals to j omega, which is very small, then the pole will dominate, right? Pole will dominate. So pole at origin will dominate. So we would have a minus 20 dB per decade slope. And s, 0 0.1 omega 0. Here is 20 dB. Uh, here we mark as 10 omega 0. Next, let's look at the phase plot. So for phase plot, initially at Om frequency lower than 0 0.1 omega 0, the pole at origin dominate, which, which incur a minus 90 degree initial phase change. And uh, at this omega 0, the 0 will take effect, right? So we, this 0 will incur a positive 90 degree phase change. And at this frequency, it's minus 45 degree, 0 degree. That is the body plot for the inverted 0 case. So beyond this frequency, it will remain flat, uh, which corresponds to 0 degree. OK, so in this section, we have introduced uh, the body plot of general cases like the right half plane 0 and the right half plane pole. And also, we discussed some special cases. And uh, for practical applications, we can always compose, decompose the complex transfer function into the products of many uh, simple cases. And then we plot the body plot of each individual simple case and add them together, we can get the body plot of the entire complete, complex system.